Hello everyone, it's Bubby for Zero for One. I've returned from Base Day Models Live this past Saturday, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the placings I brought home. I did not bring home as many NAND cards as I normally do, so that was a little bit disappointing, but the judging was different than I've experienced before, and there was a lot of competition, so I, I do understand, um, but I'm happy because a few horses that haven't NAND before did NAND, so that's always a cool thing. And I had a good time getting together with uh, new and old hobbyists and just reconnecting and, and being around other people of the hobby. So it was a very good experience overall. Um, I also did get a new horse, so I will show you him at the end. But right now I'm going to go through what my horses got. If I remember how many horses were in the class, I will tell you. I don't remember all of them, um, but I do remember some of them. So first we're going to go on to Frosted. None of these three guys placed. They all went, but they didn't get anything. And we have Frosted, and he got, out of a class of four, he got a third in Breed and a fourth in Collectability, but they accidentally passed out a Breed Ribbon, but that's Collectability. Uh, the Dark Knight and Lady Bay did not place in European Warm Blood. I think there was 31 horses in that class, so it was quite competitive. And then my Carlisle, I believe out of a class of, like, 19 or so, um, got a second in Breed and a fourth in collectability, this might be his second breed, no, third breed card. He, he does better in collectability usually, but I'm pretty proud of him. And then um, my Bahana did not place as either out of a pretty large-ish class as well. So then moving down onto this shelf, we have Silver Mist, who got fifth place in breed and fifth place in collectability. Out of a class of five, I think, so she got <laughs> last, but all of my stones placed, which I think is quite an accomplishment. No NAND cards, but they all placed. And then we have Ride and Solo, who out of a class of 12, I think, around there, he got a sixth in breed, so not too bad for him. And then we have Touch of Trouble, my ganache, out of a class of, I think around 28 or so. Um, OF Briar Arabian Stallions. He got a fifth in breed and a sixth in collectability, so this is his first time placing in breed. It's pretty happy for him. And then we have Spring Awakening, who out of a class of 14 or so got a sixth place in collectability. He didn't place in breed. Uh, Sparks Will Fly got sixth place in breed and sixth place in collectability out of a class of seven, I think. And then Ambulare also had a class of seven. And he got a fifth place in collectability and a fifth, pl a fourth place in breed. And then over here we have um, Faith, my little stone chip, out of a class of three. She got third. Um, she's just a designer horse, so collectability she doesn't really do too great. But she, the judge did comment that she's absolutely adorable, which I agree. So that's why she stays, because she's a cutie. And then none of my other minis placed except for this girl, surprisingly. Um, she's never placed for me before. I don't believe, and she actually got out of a class of, again, I think around 28 saddlebreds, she got a first place in breed. So that was pretty cool for her. She's a G1 1989 saddlebred. And then over on my last shelf, which is mostly stones, uh, these two, both in classes less than 10, I can't remember exactly how many, um, but just, uh, Twist and Shout got a 6th place in collectability and a 6th place in breed. I think there might have only been 6 in the class. And then um, Mina got a 4th place in collectability and a 6th place in breed out of a class of 12 or 14. Yeah. So, so pretty proud of her. And then Day Trader out of a class of 12, I think, got a 5th place in collectability. Twist of Fate was also in a class of around that size and got a 4th in breed. Oliver Twist was again in a class, most of these classes for my issues were about 14, 10 to 14 or so horses, and he got a third in breed and a sixth in collectability. And then Rebellious Outlook got a fifth in breed and fifth in collectability. And I think there was only five in his class actually, so I think he got last. I'm pretty sure. And then um, Fire Nice got a fourth in, again, passed out a breed car, but it was for collectability. And then, um, Undone Wrap got a 6th place in Breed, out of a class of 12-ish or so. Uh, Morning Glory did not place, and then another Nan card, and this is her first Nan card, uh, second placing for me is my Baby Flow, uh, Raindrops on Roses, and she got a first place out of 29 in the Quarter Horse Mayor 
class. So I was pretty, pretty pumped about that. And then lastly, my biggest placing of the day is this little girl. And I know we already went over her that she got her NAN card, but then she also actually got um, champion for breed in the gated division. So that was pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you guys the new horse that I got. Um, he's on my bed. That's all my placings. I didn't count how many ribbons. Definitely less than I've come home with before in more six places than anything. But it was still a great time. And the coolest thing is that I came home with this really, really ni nice new stone. So I will go ahead and show you him. Okay, so we're just over here on my bed. And this is him. He is a Peter Stone Arabian. And he's a 2016 designer horse in flea bitten gray. As you can see, I don't know if it'll pick it up. He has some really, really nice little flea bites all through him. And he has the straightened head customization, which some judges hate, some judges love. I personally really enjoy it. I think it makes him look more Arabian-y, if that's a phrase. And then he has a little diamond kind of going on there. And... I think his mane and forelock are the same. His forelock might be different. I can't remember, but I think his mane is the same. And then he has um, one sock, one hind sock with hoof stripes. And I think his tail is different as well. It's kind of cascading down a little bit. So yeah, that's him. Zyna Horse 2016. He's really lovely. Um, he does have that ear, is a little, the ear on the left is a little bit wonky compared to the other ear. That's my only fault on him. Um, but this is really would be a show side anyway, so I think it doesn't really matter to me because he's just, he's lovely and he's my only, you know, Rod and Solo is my only other Arabian and he's not a purebred Arabian, so this is my first purebred stone Arabian. And he's really nice. I've decided to call him Brecha. I'm not sure if that'll be his show name too. But that's a, at least going to be his barn name um, because it's a type of rock that is found both on Earth and on the moon. It's kind of, you know, the white kind of reminded me of the moon. So I looked up moon terms and Breccia is a rock that is found on the moon. So that's what I decided to call him. So that is him. I'm really excited. I got him, which I think is a really great price. I actually got him for $185, which I think is great. Um, I actually got him down $10 from his original price that he was listed at. And um, even, I think, just this body itself on the stone website would be $200 plus, not even with any of his markings or gloss or any of that. So he's a really lovely guy, and I'm very excited to have him. And that's, that's mainly everything. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to have more briar videos out in the future. I've come up with a few different um, ideas and videos that I want to do, so I'll have those out in the next coming weeks. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and have a lovely afternoon. I'll see you guys in the next video.